So in the last video, I showed you this really cool tool called Insight Factory, and we used it to uncover some Father's Day themed printable digital product ideas that were high demand but low competition. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to take one of those ideas and design them all in Canva. The product we are going to be designing today are Father's Day coupon books. Great idea for Father's Day and is going to be able to be sold right up until the date. So a great last minute present idea for dad too, for those people that are looking for those types of products. If you want to see exactly how I uncovered this product, then check the link in the description below for the previous video. We are going to be designing this product using Canva and ChatGPT. So without further ado, let's start now. So here we are in Canva, we're going to click custom size and we're going to create each of these um, coupons individually um, in order and I'll show you why. So stick around to just see how and why I do it like that. So the width is going to be, it's going to be arranged on an 11 by 8.5 inch kind of landscape, but we want it to be half of that. So we've got to make sure that this is in inches. The width is 5.5 and the height is about 4.25 because it's half of 11 and half of 8.5. And then we're going to click create new design. So now this is our kind of um, design canvas. And now all I'm going to do is I'm going to go to elements. I'm going to go to shapes. I'm going to extend that shape out. I am going to give it an outline, make it smaller. This outline's quite cool. And then I'm going to make that interior color white. I'm also going to make sure this shape is positioned in the middle and the center. Make it slightly smaller. Again, middle and center. And so that's just the outline of our first coupon. Now we are going to arrange the words. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to click T for text and I'm going to type this coupon is good for. And the way I'm going to arrange this, I think, is I'm going to have this here in the center. And I'm going to click T for text again. And then that's where our kind of, um, whether it's a foot rub or a day at the movies or whatever, that's where that's going to go. That's going to be our, one of our variables that are going to be different for each coupon. So I'm just going to type in some placeboard, placeholder text there. So um, a, I don't know, homemade dinner of your choice. I'll make that bold and I actually might make it larger, but still in alignment with this, but just make the text a bit larger, remove, reduce the line spacing and just make it even bigger, I think. And then I'm just going to copy and paste that. So I clicked command and then C, and then that will kind of have, um, maybe like a, a funny saying or something heartfelt or something like that. So I'm just going to just type placeholder there. And I'm going to make it slightly smaller and then make sure it's centered. And now I'm going to highlight all of. And now I'm going to highlight all of all of these and then click position and then make sure they're tidied up so that they're all equally spaced. Under here is where I have like a, a nice icon that maybe relates to dinner or something like that. But around the corners, I'm just gonna add some kind of colorable elements that a child can also color in as well. So, so I'm thinking maybe a trophy. Um, we wanna make sure it is free and static. And that of course it's black and white so it can be colored in. Something like that is nice. So we can just put that in the corner there, um, maybe something like a star. That's quite nice. And with that, we can just remove the color because I quite like the way that kind of looks hand drawn. That's really cute. Um, so we've got a star there. What else? Maybe a moustache. 
might be fun. Make sure they're free again and static. Let's see if there's anything that can be colored in. Okay, can't see anything there. Maybe a tie. I'm trying to think of things that are kind of daddy-fied. Uh, that's, that could work. Um, and we'll make that black in color. And we could just, because remember this is for, this is aimed at kids. So we kind of want things that are easy to color in and, and, you know, and to still be quite fun. And then we could just maybe put another star on this side as well. Or maybe even sunglasses, possibly. Yep, that could do. So again, we'll just change the color to black. Make them a bit smaller. Put them at an angle. And then maybe make this a bit smaller. Okay, so that is our initial design there. And that's going to be kind of the template that we will use for everything else for all of the other coupons. Okay, so now we've done that, we're just going to hop on over to ChatGPT and I'll show you what we do there. So here we are. Um, I have already started to prompt ChatGPT with what we need. So I said I need help creating a set of colouring coupons for Father's Day. They have they need to have fun sayings such as this coupon is good for dinner or this coupon is good for your choice of a foot rub or things like that. I've asked it to give me 10 um, options. Please disregard this spelling mistakes. Um, it's still got what I meant. So as we can see now, it's given us 10 different coupon options. It's given us the coupon title and the coupon description there. And so I've said, this is great. Please make this into two column format because then that's how we're going to use it in order to create in bulk. So now it's gone ahead and done that now. So we've got the coupon title, the coupon description in these two columns here. And then um, your, it's, you can easily copy that table into a Google spreadsheet, which is what I've done. And then I've asked it to create another 10, but this time removing the emojis. But I'm going to show you how we could use the emojis um, later on in this video. So again, copied that, pasted it over here. And so we've got now our variables that we'll use for each coupon. So now I'm just going to copy this column and I'm going to connect it up to this information here. So I'm going to click here. I'm going to click bulk create. I'm going to click enter data manually. And then this is coupon. We'll label this coupon title and then we'll paste all of those there. And then we want to label this coupon description. And then let's go back, copy all of those, bring it back here, paste, and then we'll click done. Now we just want to connect these up. So I'm clicking this, click connect data and connect that to the coupon title. Then we'll click this placeholder, connect data and connect that to the coupon description there. Now we're going to click continue. And now we want to go ahead and generate our 20 designs. Now up here it's saying view in folder and we can see that it has now made our coupons super easily. And as you can imagine, we could just go back to to ChatGPT, ask it to create us another 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, as many as you like. The more you can create, the more value you're going to then be able to provide for your customer. Um, and you know, they're going to be more willing to part with a bit more money knowing that they're getting more bang for their buck. So now we're going back over. So we've got those. And now what we might want to do is just, just highlight these and then go to position tidy that up a bit and just do that for each and every one of them just so that the spacing um, all looks decent and in line. So here I'm just clicking the shift button and then tidy up. 
it's pretty quick. It's just a few clicks. And with that, that bulk create, it's just made it a lot easier for us to create um, a few designs at once. As you can see, this is all black and white because they need to be colorable for kids. And that's going to be that really nice personalized touch that a child can give to this to make it really heartfelt and, and you know, nice and individual and unique for, for dad. So that's only taken us a couple of minutes to do all of that. So we've got all our colorable bits here. And if you wanted to add more, then you would just go back, like I said, go back to ChatGPT and create more. So now what I'm going to do is what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to just use these as kind of ideas to put at the bottom here. So this was dinner. So in actual fact, if we go here, that it had um, a, a plate there. So I'm just going to actually just type in dinner and we'll make sure that they are free and static again and i think that's quite cute we want to make it quite big put that in the center and actually and then if we go back we can see dad's day off it suggested a bed so let's just go for bed that will do and then for this one it suggested a super dad reward, a foot rub, so feet. And then game night. I mean, I think I can figure out what we would have there. So those emojis, we could have just used them as inspiration, but most of these are quite self-explanatory. Um, so we don't necessarily have to use the emojis um, suggestions from ChatGPT anyway. So for the chores, maybe, so they've got a, they've got a, They've got a brush there. So let's see. Actually, let's see. Cleaning. Make sure it's free. Yep, yeah, that will do. Because we want to make sure that they're quite bold lines there so that are easily colorable. So hopefully you're following along with this um, tutorial, but if you just cannot be bothered, then you might want to check out my $9 a month printable membership. It is super high value. You get immediate access to over 50 different products that are ready made. All you've got to do is give it a few edits and then get it up in your store wherever you sell online. Um, I'll tell you a bit more about that later. But for now, I'm just going to go ahead and finish these up. It's only going to take another couple of minutes and then I'll come back and show you the finishing um, designs there. So I am back. I have completed um, adding those images. It was another couple of minutes, five minutes max to just add the images at the bottom. So as you can see, I've done all of those there. And they look really nice, really colorable for kids and um, super interactive. Now what we're going to do is we're going to arrange these so that someone can then print them out on one page um, really easily. So, and all I'm going to do now is um, Canva has a really amazing feature that they've recently introduced. And basically you can have more than one design size in a particular um, overall design. So let me show you what I mean. So we're going to click this here, those arrows, we're going to click more. And then we're going to now add click custom size, put that into inches, and then the width is going to be um, 11 and the height is going to be 8.5. And that's going to give us our um, kind of landscape format there. So as you can see now, um, that has now been resized to 11.5 by 8.5. What we're going to do now is we're going to just upload those coupons that we downloaded. We'll go to uploads. Hulk. I'll click upload. 
and then we're just uploading those now and what I'm going to do whilst it's uploading I'm going to click L for line and I'm just going to pull that across I'm going to click L for line again put that at 90 degrees pull it up and pull it down and um, that's just kind of just giving us our dimensions there So depending on how many you want on a page, maybe you want four, um, maybe you want a uh, six. So I'm just going to have four on the page. Just going to make sure it's centered up. And I'm going to copy and paste. And then I'm going to take both of those and then copy and paste them again. Make sure that they are all in alignment with each other so I'm just highlighting those going to position going to tidy up and now the other ones that I've uploaded I'm just going to now drag and drop those really easily in I'm just going to now duplicate that page and then do the same thing again and then duplicate the page again Duplicate the page again. And then duplicate one more time. To then get those last four coupons there. So now what we have are the individual coupons. So we've given our our um, user the choice of having them individually and then we've also put them onto an A4 page or an 8.5 by 11 page and had four on that page there. So the sizing is a lot bigger than usual it's because that's going to be colouring in that's because a child is going to be colouring that in so we want the design to be rather big bigger than rather than smaller just so that they can you know get that colouring right and have fun with that. We'd go to the back end of Etsy if Etsy is where you are uploading it and the way you would upload it is you would choose your category first it's a digital file who made it I did it's a finished product when was it made it was made recently created by me and then we'd click continue you'd type in your title you'd put in your mock-up photos so this product we'd want to then just rename it so we'd say dad coloring coupons we would then click share we'd click download we want it to be pdf print and then we click download there wait for that to download so here you would add file and that's where we would add our dad coloring coupons and then once someone purchases then they would gain access to these coupons and download them and print them out ready to be used. I won't be going into how to create a really optimized title and description that is for another video and also for those who are in my membership currently this product is going to be uploaded shortly to the membership in order for you to then use as you please and if you're interested in my membership it's only nine dollars or ninety dollars a year um, it's super high value you get access immediately to over 50 different PLR products that are ready for you to edit and make your own super high quality I've gone to a lot of trouble to research and create these so that they can give you a real head start when you are building your own digital product empire. Click the link in the description if you want more details on that. So we have come to the end of this video. Um, I hope you've followed along and I hope you got a lot of value. If you have any questions, please leave them in the description in the comments below. And until next time, all the very best.